Personal Development Month. Personal Development Month. I like that, right? Any excuse to kind of rally around. <laughs> Absolutely. Every month needs to be Personal Development Month, right, Mary? Sure, it should. But you know, if you can focus on one, and that is the month of September, uh, and use that as an excuse to kind of focus in, I think that sounds great. Yes, absolutely. Very important to invest in ourselves. A lot of times people think it's selfish to be investing in ourselves. We give, give so much. But it's really important for us to improve ourselves because if we improve ourselves, Marianne, we can be better off helping others too. So. I like that. All right, we've yeah. got some points to go through with you here. Uh, number one, of, so we've got four ways you can invest in yourself. The first is uh, to invest in a better self-care regimen. We can all do a little bit better in this, right? They yeah. always say your health is your greatest wealth. So who needs to be a little bit wealthy in this area, right? So, you know, you can improve on your eating, uh, improving a little bit in exercise. And we're going to talk about some easy ways, but a little short burst of exercise. Changing one thing in your diet can make a very big difference in your life. And you know what? We all want to have more energy and feel more strong. Mm -hmm. So that is definitely one way that you can invest in yourself starting today. Just little things with yeah, self-care. Yeah, little things. Sleep, you know, every, just yes. everything along the yes. way. Uh, number two, improve your present skills. Yeah, isn't it true sometimes when we're, we're in our career for 10, 20, 30 years. We kind of think sometimes we kind of know it all, right? But um, as Ogmandino says, there's a famous quote, we should always be a student. So we've got to be ahead of the game. We can always oomph up on what we do. So, you know, taking a certification, you know, taking an online course, just something to keep up and be ahead of the times in our skills that we do now. And I will say that when you do that, it, it sort of refreshes you, right? It's sort of like a little uh, boost of... Uh, yes. you, you know, just enthusiasm back in the in a career that you've done for 20 or 30 years. Absolutely. A little bit of a refresher yeah. and definitely gives you a little bit more inspiration to Definitely. Move it yes. does. It gets you all excited again about your job. Uh, or number three, start something new. Yeah, absolutely. You know, life isn't all about work. Sometimes we feel that way, right? And I think with the recent times with Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane, um, you know, the newest one, is that, you know what, we've got to do stuff that makes us happy, right? So we've got to incorporate some stuff, maybe some hobbies we haven't done for years. So, you know, Maybe, you know, starting golf, maybe improving your golf game, taking a photography class, mm -hmm. singing lessons, play the guitar, right? Do something that incorporates joy into your life each and every day. Right. And it tells you that a lot of other things just don't matter, too. It really kind of reprioritizes your life. Yes. So if there is something you want to learn, Priorities, to absolutely. Uh, and number four, hire a mentor or a coach. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes you need that outside experience to kind of guide you. No, but it's so right true direction. is that so many of us have a fear or something that has kept us stuck, right, for maybe years. And so, you know, it's really important, again, back Back to that priorities is that you know today you know you can break through that fear today you can at least start the process and uh, moving forward from something that's kept you stuck mm -hmm. for maybe again 10 20 30 years so the right mentor the right coach or maybe the right counselor right you got to find the right person and help you move past that and break through that fear investing in yourself is so important and the thing is this Marianne you get an immediate return on that you know, and it can't right. be a one-time thing, like no. we said. You know, this is Personal Development Month that's been toted as, but we have to be, incorporate this as part of our lifestyle. Right, you develop it, right? It's an ongoing thing. You yes. build upon those thoughts and those feelings and those experiences that you lock in, try to lock in those changes. Yes. And uh, so we're talking about how do you do all this stuff, right? We're busy. That's why we don't spend time developing good health regimens and we don't spend time learning new things. So how do you do this on a busy schedule? Well, we have to commit to making the time first, but there's so many easy different ways is that, say, for example, you have a long commute to and from work. You know, audiobooks are a beautiful thing. There's podcasts you can listen to. Um, maybe getting up a couple minutes earlier in the beginning of the day or maybe at the end of the day or during your lunch break, you know, instead of just sitting in front of the computer and staring, maybe doing a little bit of learning, um, you know, during that time. There's so many resources that you can do self-paced now. You don't have to go to a school. You can do it on your own, on the computer, when you want to do it. So the thing is this is really carving out the time and committing to doing it. Right. Or on the treadmill, right? If you want exactly. to listen to music, listen to something That's what like I that. do while I'm walking. That's when I listen, and that's when my learning time that's is. That's exactly how I picture you doing that on the <laughs> treadmill. <laughs> if you want to get a hold of Cynthia, you can do it a couple of ways. Uh, we've got her website linked to ours, uh, gooddaysacramento.com. Click show info there at the top of the page. Look for uh, Premier Mentoring, smartchick.me. Uh, you can reach her there, and her phone number and all that is there as well. Thank you so much for coming in. It's Thank so you so inspiring. much. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to see you. We'll see you next month. Yes, all absolutely. Right, <laughs> Guys, back to you. Perfect. Get another month to fix this. Exactly. <laughs> another month. We're going to get this right by the end of the year, people. <laughs> More time. Right. Yes.